In this video, I'm going to show you how you can repair a mainspring that is broken. But uh, as I said, I'm not going to use this mainspring. With your gloves on, taking a punch, you want to punch the spring itself because if you try to put a drill bit on this it's not going to work the drill bit will just fall right off it will come off so taking a punch and getting yourself a center punch and now I have a punch drill that I could take a drill and drill a hole if I had sharper bits so let me go get a different bit standby now I have a different bit put my gloves back on I don't know if you can see what's going on and there I have a hole from that you make another hole you would uh, you would draw this part out on this metal and then you would make another hole and then either with a dremel or with a file you would make this to be there i'm not going to use this i just wanted to show you and without making that center punch watch what happens you see the drill bit uh, walking down the spring that's what happens without making the the burst center punch the springs are extremely hard and they're really hard to drill uh, the reason why I made this hole is uh, like I said with the spring you want to measure how long they are so I have <coughs> this screwdriver right here that goes in my hole in my table so I can um, clean the springs up this way I could also pull it back to measure how long the spring is it's not rocket scientists you get an estimate of how long the spring is this piece here is 25 inches so Pulling this back, and I'm going to uh, put a pair of vice grips on the bottom of this screwdriver. That way, uh, the screwdriver doesn't bounce back 
and the spring comes unraveled on me and hits me. So, uh, I need to, uh, tighten up this pair of vice grips so it can attach to my screwdriver on the bottom of this table. Safety first. You don't want this stuff bouncing off and hitting you. It will hurt. <clears throat> I got the uh, vice grip mounted. I'm pulling the spring back. Again, this is where you can clean your spring. A lot of people say they come distorted. Well, I would rather clean a spring and it gets a little bit distorted than not clean a spring and have all the gunk and stuff on it. So this part of the spring is 30 inches. So we're looking at about 65 inches worth of spring so now I'm going to take this spring unravel it and cut off about 60 65 inches of this spring I got the spring attached to the screwdriver and I want to cut from the inside to the outside. It's a lot easier making the, the section that attaches to the inside of the barrel versus making the section that attaches to the arbor. So. I'm going to get me an estimate here. And this spring is about 70 inches. So I'm going to cut off about 5 inches and then put it in the barrel. So now I need to go get a pair of shears to cut off about 5 inches. So, guesstimating there, I took some material. But like I said, I have to make this look like this
are pretty close to it. Now you got a bunch of jagged edges here, so I'm going to take my uh, Dremel and uh, clean that up. But I'm going to do the same thing I did earlier off camera. Punch a hole, drill this hole, and then make it look like that. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please hit the subscribe button.